Chelsea tie in Madrid all to play for at Stamford Bridge. Hey guys, welcome back to another match review. This is Real Madrid 1, Chelsea 1. As you can see, it's really late here in Madrid. It's already like 11.30, so I'm gonna try my best, but I must admit I'm a little bit sleepy after the day. So looking at this game, Real Madrid, Chelsea, I am leaving it a little bit disappointed, a little bit because I felt that Chelsea played so well and I felt that we outplayed them. They had some important players that were out and I felt that we could have taken advantage more than we did, but we're going to get into all of that in the video. So let's get right into it. Looking at the starting 11, I was really surprised to see that it was unchanged from the weekend against West Ham. So this kind of tells me that Thomas Tuchel has been preparing for this game for a while and they had more than just the two days because we've been seeing these little tweaks and changes in the system and style of play. So looking at that starting 11, I was honestly surprised to see Azulaqueta at the right wing back role. I thought that we would see him as a right center back where we we have been seeing him and I thought that Reese James would come in especially since Aspliqueta played against West Ham but I think that Thomas Tuchel did this for two reasons one because Aspliqueta is incredibly experienced and a leader on the pitch and two because it allows you to have a little bit more of a height advantage having a, a taller center back in that role which can be really important for set pieces I was also surprised to see Timo Werner on the pitch because after Hit the game against West Ham apparently he you know he had scored but he wasn't feeling his absolute best because of that chance that he missed and his confidence has been just up and down the entire season so I was surprised to see him especially with Pulisic because I just feel like they kind of tend to occupy similar spaces and I don't necessarily see the chemistry with each other they're just a hundred percent yet and I do think that Pulisic tends to link up better with somebody like Havertz or even a yet but all in all I was pretty happy with the starting 11. Go into the first half Chelsea are absolutely dominating and really soon after just 10 minutes Timo Werner has an incredible chance and it was a really good save from Courtois I'll give him that but Timo Werner just should have done better there I feel you really have to put all of your power into that shot and just slot it past Courtois which he didn't do and that, that, that opportunity was really crucial. Massive credit to Mason Mount for the buildup. He looked absolutely on fire. And then it was also really difficult for Pulisic to head the ball to Timo Werner. So it was just really impressive from both of them. And then Timo really had it on a plate and I felt that he should have done better there and it should have been one nil. And it kind of just speaks to his lack of confidence and his lack of goal scoring ability because I feel like that's a shot that he should be 100% putting home but soon after that my man Christian Pulisic scores I was so happy for him you guys know what a big fan I am of Pulisic people have told me I need to calm down on the Pulisic train well guess what I'm not it's in full motion Christian Pulisic like I, I, I'm just here laughing because some people wanted to sell him in the summer and I said you have to be patient he's going to come good and look what he's doing he's been looking back to his best he's almost at that project restart level I think he's been getting a lot more game time he's been starting a lot more games and look what it's doing for his confidence and just for his ability to get into the game I've been saying if you're not playing it's hard to adapt to the game and just kind of get it piecemeal so Christian Pulisic what a freaking goal like credit to Rudiger for that through ball because that was incredible as well um like the ball over the top by Christian Pulisic he still had a lot to do after the first touch I was thinking eh this is gone but he went around Courtois beautifully which I think a lot of us are really appreciative he just did it so so good and the finish was incredible so Christian Pulisic massive credit to you you are incredible <laughs> after that goal I felt like Chelsea really dominated the first 30 minutes we looked so freaking strong and I thought oh my god we need to get a second like we just need to take advantage of this Madrid side because they really did not look good we weren't really giving them that much time or space on the ball and they just couldn't really get into the game and then 
they got back equal courtesy of a Benzema Wonder Volley. Like I knew it had to be Benzema, but we just really didn't do good enough in that spot. You can't be losing the first, the second, and the third balls against a side like Real Madrid because they're going to punish you. It really was down to the individual a brilliance of Benzema he goes fourth top for most Champions League goals scored all from open play by the way so he's an incredible player so hats off to him but it's just frustrating because I felt that Chelsea were playing so well and then it kind of got the air or the the wind out of their sails after that and the, the last 10 to 15 minutes of the first half were shaky and I was like we need halftime we need halftime because it just really looks like Madrid could potentially Potentially get a second in the second half both teams looked like they had just taken the pedal off a little bit they were more reserved it looks like more of a chess match I wasn't expecting this to be a high scoring game so two goals after 30 minutes was surprising so it looks like both teams were kind of sitting back and waiting for the other one to make the first move Madrid has had torrential downpours like it's known for having really good weather but the past two weeks the weather in Madrid has sucked and today was no different it was just downpouring and that must be really really difficult for the players to manage as well because the pitch is just a mess the ball gets harder to pass it's heavier you can't pat you can't have the weight of pass that you want like it's much more difficult to calculate and we just saw players slipping and sliding out there like you guys remember those slip and slides did you have those like in the states it was very very popular to have a slip and slide that you just like you know you run and then you slide on your stomach it, it really felt like that was happening on the pitch so i can understand why the teams kind of took a step back chelsea do a triple sub of kai havertz hakim ziet and reese james at this point I was thinking yes this makes a lot of sense and credit for Thomas Tuchel for trying to make the first move I really thought that they affected the game and they played well at the point that they were substituted Madrid were playing further back and and trying to invite Chelsea and say hey come on try to break us down and so that really isn't Timo Werner's game anymore so I thought it made sense to get Hakim Ziyech and Kai Havertz into the game uh, Reese James as well Aspilicueta was just looking um, a little bit slow a little bit tired he also just played two two three days ago so it was a, a good move in my opinion uh and Hakim Ziyech I think he looked really strong honestly um he could have potentially been started this match maybe ahead of Timo Werner uh he had a couple of really great opportunities I was really impressed with him they almost freaking they almost came off but just not quite <laughs> so overall it's a good game if you had told me before going into this match oh you're going to draw 1-1 with Madrid you're going to get that all important away goal I would have been really content with that result but it just feels like bittersweet almost like it's just a little disappointing because I feel like Chelsea could have gotten a second and we should have gotten a second and I really hope that that doesn't come to bite us in the ass in the second leg because you know like we've seen today Madrid don't need a lot of opportunities Chelsea tend to need more chances in order to get a goal whereas Madrid have the individual brilliance in their team to just create something out of absolutely nothing so I I am a little disappointed I felt that we could have done more but overall it was a really great tactical performance by Thomas Tuchel it was really great performance by the Blues and I felt that we dominated them you know so if we can do this again I feel that we really can um, I think that we have the potential of beating them and of going through um, but they might have their the players they had Mendy out they had Sergio Ramos out and then Hazard came off of the bench so we might see some really important players for them coming back into the fold in the second leg uh, which would make it a lot more difficult for us I don't typically love to do man of the match um, for draws um, but I'll do it for this video I thought that Rudiger had a really good game. He was very strong defensively, just like yet yeah, likes to get into people's faces. Would love to see him and Ramos just face off. I feel like that's just like a bomb waiting to explode. But also, uh, in addition to his defensive work, I was just really impressed with the through balls and the the balls that he was attempting it came off to Pulisic. But those are the kinds of passes that you need to try to make, and every once in a while they're going to pay off. So I was really impressed with.
with him. Thought Mason Mount had another really good game. Honestly, um, that that first opportunity where Timo Werner should have scored, he did really well. And he's just all over the pitch. He works a lot. He does a lot. By the way, a hundredth Chelsea appearance for Mason Mount today. He's only 22, you guys. He's only 22 and he's only going to get better and he already looks incredible. Just his ability to move the ball, to find space. The commentator said, seems whenever Mason Mount gets the ball, Chelsea just are able to move it forward 25 yards and, and that's that just speaks so, so highly of him. I thought that he had another very good game. Christian Pulisic, of course, is a candidate of mine. He got the goal, he got the away goal, and it was really well taken at that. Already spoken about him, but you guys know, I'm just a massive fan of Pulisic. And then finally, my last candidate and my personal man of the match is Nogolo Conte. Thought that he had a brilliant game. It looked like two players were on the pitch. He was just all over the place. Cesc Fabregas said that he's just an incredible player. It looks like there were two of him and Chelsea are just so lucky to have him. I couldn't agree more. He's so strong defensively, but also like offensively, sometimes he can be a bit frustrating, but sometimes he just looks like as silky as butter and he just moves and, and looks like a prime attacker. It's so, it's so funny, but he was really, really strong and just the amount of energy that this guy has, like he's just running around the pitch full speed, taking on players. It's really, really incredible. So Nagolo Conte, my man of the match. Special shout out to Ben Chiwell. Thought that he had a very, very good game as well. And I thought that Hakeem Ziyech looked really well when he came onto the pitch. So overall, it was a good performance by Chelsea. It was a commanding performance by Chelsea. Do I feel like we could have done more? Yes. Do I think that we're going to regret it? I sure as hell hope not. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, it's a really good performance against Real Madrid. It's so impressive that Thomas Tuchel in such a short period of time has managed to get this Chelsea side to where they are to a Champions League semi-final for the first time since 2014 and to look like an absolute boss against a team as prestigious as Real Madrid. So honestly, massive credit to him and I'm super, super impressed and I'm really excited to see what this team can do with some more time uh, to gain understanding and chemistry and just for Thomas Tuchel to implement his tactics and his footprint even more. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. This is actually my second take because I recorded one and I wasn't 100% happy with it. So. I re-recorded it for you guys and yeah I hope that you enjoyed it if you liked it please drop it a like helps me out so much subscribe to my channel because I see that a lot of about 50% of people watch videos and don't subscribe and I'm going for 5k and if you want more content I have so so much coming I did a video on Twitter today uh, interviewing Real Madrid fans on the street so I'm gonna try to do one on YouTube as well and just really excited for the ton of contents that I have planned for this week. So thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And until next time, I'm out.